I think we are done here. Time to return to the lair. This rumble. Oh, for the love of these mad scientists and their nasty surprises. Katarina, out. Fulmigati's death must have triggered a self destruction sequence. The building will collapse. Now that's what I call an explosion. It blew us straight into the tunnels, Van Helsing. Van Helsing? No, don't you die on me. I'm too young to haunt the same place for eternity. That's touching, Katarina. Don't give up. You have just defeated your first villain. You have so many things ahead of you. I'm not dying. I'm just stuck. What is this? Who are you? Stay back! Move aside. I'm warning you. You're powerless for the moment. Please move aside. <coughs> oh. Well, that was fun, Katarina. What's going on? Who is this? Is it a man? A troublesome intruder. He just appeared out of nowhere and... And humbly gave my assistance to Van Helsing. The great liberator of Borgova. Do I know you? Hurry up. This structure may collapse at any moment. How rude. What kind of savior does that? That's the least of our concerns. He's right. The building is crumbling. We must leave.
It will take you to your secret lair. Hold on. First I want to know who you are. And perhaps you could explain why you are so helpful. I always find that suspicious in a masked creature. The mask hides deformations and the scars. The reminders of years of captivity in a lab. You are a test subject? Fulmigadi's favorite. Once a powerful being, now only a husk of my former self. Until your heroic deeds brought chaos to the prison. And so I escaped. You're doing this out of gratitude? And revenge. Though the professor is dead, his heritage and his allies still remain. This tortured soul wants them to suffer. So you're proposing? I must take my leave. We'll talk more later. Ha! He did it again. And the way he talks? Annoying. I'm sure he'll return. Let's go. Don't say. This place has a powerful device. A marvel of weird science. It binds this patch of the ink into a loop that won't let anyone escape. You seem to be able to come and go as you please. I have a particularly strong connection to the ink. The one thing my captors weren't able to take away. Then get us out. Take us with you. That's beyond this one's powers. But... A temporary portal could take you close to the device. Once you defeat its guardians, we can disable it. Why should I trust you? Trust is overrated. You can take that on trust. The portal will remain active until you leave this area. Oh, my God. 
Ready for what? A storm is coming, Van Helsing. You may find that your work is far from done. Then is it ever? Fulmigadi's army has withdrawn. Somebody is calling them back. They are still a chaotic mess, but they will regroup. Somebody wants to see you fall. Nothing new about that. An alliance is what you need. This tormented body is no longer able to fight. But my powers allow me to discover secrets. I can be your master spy, and you can let me have retribution. But if we're to be allies, at least tell me your name. A name? Yes. I used to have one. But that person was killed a long time ago. This wretched ruin of a man standing here is merely called Prisoner Seven. He is the most impolite, mysterious stranger ever. And that whole doom and gloom attitude, can you believe it? I don't know. He might be right. Something's up. I can feel it. Seems so simple. Defeat the mad scientist and ride into the sunset. But sometimes victory leaves you buried under the ruins. I was lucky. Someone saved me. For a change, I'm not the only mysterious stranger in town. But weeks have passed, and the metropolis of weird science is still waiting for its own savior. Outlaws and escaped monsters roam the streets. The resistance is too weak. So someone else decided to take matters into his own hands. General Harker, the military genius of the city, came back from his exile. He gathered the rest of the disorganized army. His forces are a chaotic mess of weird machines. So far, but they're slowly clearing out the streets. He might not have seen eye to eye with Fulmigati, but he regards me and the Resistance as a threat to the city. A coalition of monsters and troublemakers. As a hunter, I won't tolerate others hunting me. I'm ready to fight. I have an underground lair, new soldiers, and my new mysterious ally. I'm quite used to unlikely companions, but Prisoner 7 is the most unusual so far. A former test subject of the mad scientists. Master of the Ink. He's certainly helpful, but I don't know what to make of him. Now he can prove his worth. Harker's troops are on the move. They want to control the foundries so he can build more war machines. We will stop them in the sizzling, clanking heart of Borgova. Let the battle begin. Why should we trust you, you enigmatic, faceless man? Your humble ally is here to help you, as he promised. You must clear this whole area before they run you down. How annoying is that?
never seen anything like that. Finally, the one-man army is here. ghost van helsing but you might want to use your occult abilities to jump back to the commander Right on time. Fear not, lads. Van Helsing is here. Finally, the one-man army is here. Fear not, lads. Impeccable timing, Hunter. As always, I have a message for you. Count Vlado sends his regards but he had to leave in a hurry to destroy the Force Walls. You are in charge. Last time I checked, vampires couldn't stand daylight. Oh, he is a modern vampire, defying superstition and spontaneous combustion at the same time. I wouldn't worry for him. I haven't seen daylight for a while in this smoke. Anyway, General Harker is busy preparing his next attack. Are you ready to employ your tactical genius? But of course, I'm quite tactical, and a genius too. I'll visit the posts and give orders to the men. Sir, we are under heavy attack. Mr. Van Helsing, I mean, Commander, sir, armed forces are approaching our positions. Ask for reinforcements and keep your position.
We have fortified our positions. No one will get through here, I swear. Great news, Captain. It's time for a great motivational speech, don't you think? Fight, Hunter. We are under attack by those blasted ornithopters, sir. I'm afraid we can't hold out much longer. Deploy the automated turrets and stand your ground. Sir, we are under heavy attack. Let's report our enemies are going to attack from two sides. You must hold this position. It's crucial. Deploy the automated turrets and drive back the soldiers at any cost. Join the resistance, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Troops ready to move out? Absolutely. They're all ready. And you? Are you ready to fight? I'm always ready to fight, Commander. I go to the front line and wait there before they attack. Dispatches, witnessing your captain oh so in need of your assistance. Visit them if you can.
We are holding out, sir, but those blasted ornithopters are a menace. We should destroy their launch tower before the next attack. Scouts report three control stations in the tower. We might use them to disable those infernal machines. Possibly, but we need someone with proper expertise to do that. Where are the engineers? As far as I know, they are at the weapons depot on the upper factory grounds. All right. I'll see if I can take care of those ornithopters for you. Sir, we cannot hold this position much longer. We should demolish at least one of these elevated rail tracks to stop the enemy. You can solve everything in Borgovia by blowing up some bridges. A radical idea. But we don't have any explosives. There is a phlogiston tank right under the rail bridge. If we open the three taps, the gas will burst through the vents, creating flammable clouds. I love blowing up bridges as much as the next Borgovian. But this means that flammable clouds will engulf the whole district, right? The residents have already fled or have been evacuated. Which means that we can risk the plan. Let's do this. We managed to hold our ground, but only just. Harker is now familiar with our positions. My scouts tell me that the General is preparing a full-scale artillery attack. I recommend that we send our men back to the second line of defense. I'll give orders for the second line. Did you see those weapons? Van Helsing. So, you are in command now. Good question. Is the ship commanding the storm? Don't listen to her. Yes, and I have a task for you. There is an ornithopter launch tower nearby, and it's causing us plenty of grief. If I get you there, can you disable it? Well, I could use an overlord that would shut it down for good, but isn't that thing beyond our defenses? Nah, a few enemy hordes along the way, the odd behemoth here and there. Trust me, it'll be mind-numbingly boring. Don't worry. I'll keep you alive. All right. I place my trust in you, Hunter. Let's <laughs> go. 
whatever this is. We did here, but it was fun.
humanity. Resistance soldiers reporting. Sir, we might be a bit outnumbered. Deploy the automated turrets and hold your ground. Sir, we are under heavy attack. One-man army is here! What an absolutely dreadful morning, sir. It looks to be a fitting day to die. That's the Borgovian spirit, Sergeant. I was just trying to be sarcastic, my lady. I do command a strong force here. That might be true, Sergeant. But they still need a good, inspiring speech. for Borgovia. Sir, if you don't mind me saying, this area is far too open and wide. We are all spread out too thin. Still, you must defend this area at all costs. Ask for reinforcements from the lair. Right on time. ready to move out? Absolutely. They're all ready. And you? Are you ready to fight? 
I'm always ready to fight, Commander. Call back the soldiers from the first line. I go to the front line and wait there before they attack. Messenger found a wounded resistance soldier beyond the perimeter. He tried to warn us that the undead, called Vlados, was under attack and needs your help. Did he tell where they are? With his last breath, he did. There is an industrial platform far beyond our lines, where the cargo elevators go down to the rookery. Vlados is trapped there.
Jones. They're using the transporters. <laughs> Certainly live up to our expectations, sir. You saved us in the last minute. What happened to you, Captain? And where is Count Vlados? Count Vlados is gone, sir. What do you mean, gone? Did he crumble to dust, or did he just slip away to throw a doomsday party again? You really shouldn't question his dedication to the cause, milady. He led his unit to one of the electricity works to disable the Force Domes from there. Then suddenly Harker's specialist swarmed the area. We had no choice but to retreat. I'll take it from here, Captain. Go back to the front line. You are needed, Van Helsing. The commander wants to talk to you. You must also save a weapon shipment and rescue someone important. Van Helsing, you give a new meaning to the term one-man army. At least it's a well-tested, unproven method. is a one-man army now. It's your fault, Hunter. Thank you. 
Finally! Where have you been? This poor son is going to die. We must take him to safety now. Oh, my apologies. I didn't know that we don't have time to play with those people who are shooting at us. We are doomed! We have an urgent order from the War Council. You must find and save Private Brian at all costs. Take him back to the lair. We have a War Council now? And who is this soldier? Private Brian. I heard that part, but who is he? Someone important? Not that I know of. A simple soldier. I'm all about helping people. But Count Vlados is gone. Our defenses are crumbling. And you still want me to find a lonely soldier? Yes, I do. I have my orders. And I'm willing to sacrifice hundreds if that's what it takes to save Private Brian. Easy, Commander. I understand. If this is an order, we obey. Where should we go to look for him? I sent his squadron to Track 8. Fear not, lads. Van Helsing is here. Ha! Parker will run away screaming. Sir, it's good to have you here. Thank you, Captain. I'm looking for a certain Private Brian. And he should have a lightning-shaped scar on his forehead. Don't listen to her. Do you know where we can find this man? I sent him with a squadron to destroy a freight car filled with phlogiston gas. It's a dangerous mission. Join the resistance, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Rescue squad! My comrades are all dead and I'm stuck here! Don't worry, lad. You're safe now. 
Tell me, I must know. Who are you? Do you have a unique ring? A glittering sword? A red cape? What? I'm, I'm a nobody, my lady. Please don't hurt me. I used to be a cook, that's all. The War Council loves my chocolate cakes, but that's hardly a specialty. Really? We should change sides, Van Helsing. I insist. We will escort you to safety, soldier. You won't last alone out here. Save Private Brian. Yes, we did. And I think I'm gonna have some words with the War Council. I wouldn't know anything about that. I suggest focusing on the defenses until we get Vlados back. Vlados is gone, and our defenses are crumbling. Our job is done here. In this case, we must return to the lair. You're right, Commander. But there are still civilians out there. Return to the lair and make sure it's ready to accommodate the refugees. I'll join the others and wait for the next attack.
have a second. What now? Do you remember the machine that poor mad Professor Fumigati piloted against us? If you mean the gigantic doomsday automaton that almost smashed me to a pulp, then yes, it was lovely. everywhere and he is moving in with the heavy artillery towards the foundry that's it we're running away you are merely gaining valuable time until I do what I do best seeking and hunting secrets examining the occult depths of this land and I'm the one who will find you a way to destroy those domes wait did you just say I so you know the personal pronoun after all. You are right, my lady. This one went too far and thought himself important. Enough. We'll go back to the lair to regroup. Move. As famous last stands go, the battle for Viaduct Junction was quite spectacular. Sadly, it doesn't change the fact that we are losing this war. I even had to leave behind important allies. General Harker is a worthy opponent. He has salvaged the mad scientist's toy box, found some real treasures, and used them wisely. Now the Four Stones are keeping us away from strategically important positions, and the unnatural soldiers are forcing us back to the lair. Harker is on his way to occupy the foundries. The mysterious Prisoner Seven promised to find a way to destroy the domes. Until then, we must remain in the lair that the General is so desperate to find. So, we will have to keep him busy. Congratulations, Van Helsing. Great. What did I do again? Don't be ridiculous. That was an honest praise. I think you are a good commander. I'm still a better monster hunter. I've never said you were a great commander, but every beginning is difficult. Sir. We found this strange ornithopter in the tunnels. We tried to shoot it, but it, well, it, it spoke to us. Turns out it's a messenger from an inventor called Telsa. He was captured by the general, but he rewired this machine and sent it for help. Great. So our associate mad genius is finally somewhere where he can't build anything that destroys half the city? You're not planning to set him free, are you? 
If he stays there, the General will eventually use his genius abilities against us. Will you send out a rescue team, sir? No, my friend. Rescue missions are my speciality. Do you have anything else to report? Yes, sir. Commander Petrov wants to have a word with you. Van Helsing, the War Council evaluated your actions during the siege, and they've decided to entrust you with the training of the elite soldiers. Wait, is this a punishment or a reward? And what exactly would be my task, Commander? You have to prepare the Resistance elite squads and send them out on important missions. We've appointed some new captains who will serve under your command. Meet them first, then choose wisely. Van Helsing, sir, reporting for duty. Easy, Captain. I'm still a monster hunter, not a general. What is your speciality? Ivan Zarevich reporting, sir. Special command tactics and offensive warfare. You must be one of those, ooh, muscles. I mean specialists. With muscles. Hmm. Nice day, isn't it, sir? Heard you were in charge now. We'll get along just fine. I used to be a hunter like you, Gregor Stark, Scourge of the Werebeast, at your service. Doesn't ring a bell. Sorry. But if you were a hunter, you must have a long list of useful expertise. Right you are, sir. Exploration is my middle name. And Ambush, Ambush is my other middle name. I also have an inkling of traps and ranged weapons. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, I'm great with traps. Is arrogance something they teach you at the Hunter's Academy? Wait, don't answer that. <laughs> Mr. Van Helsing, allow me. My name is Dr. Stone. How are you feeling today? Are you a medical doctor or a proper mad scientist? No, my lady, I treat no maladies. I'm a simple genius, born to defeat the world with giant exploding machines. Currently, I'm helping out the resistance. I'm also a diplomat, an expert on traps and occult knowledge. At your service. General Harker has sent his soldier things down to the underground tunnels. They are still looking for the lair. They will eventually cut us off if we don't stop them now. So be it, Commander. I'll defend the tunnel system on my own. <laughs> <laughs> 